In this video, we are going to learn how to obtain the product of some expression using tabulation method. Now, if you see, like consider this example, which is given in terms of pi, that is these given terms are max terms. So, just group them according to the number of ones in their corresponding binary representation. So, the process is similar to getting the SOP that is sum of pro uh, products form only the difference is at the end so just compare them accordingly that is the difference between the two numbers should be positive and also we should be able to express in powers of 2 so 1 comma 9 difference is 8 similarly 4 comma 6 difference is 2 8 comma 9 1 8 comma 10 2 so now uh, the comparison of these two groups is done so give a separation here then 7 is 6 comma 7 difference is 1 proceed until you complete the comparison of all the groups yes this is done now you have to compare these two groups and these two groups actually now how we compare these two groups is the difference 8 is there here we don't have any difference 8 so we, got, we cannot compare this pair with any of the pairs in the next group if you consider 4 comma 6 difference is 2 here we are having difference 2 9 comma 11 and 4 comma 6 9 minus 4 is 5 which cannot be expressed in powers of 2 so we cannot compare these two pairs again and no other pair with the difference 2 is there in this group so we cannot compare this pair now coming to 8 comma 9 which is difference 1 6 comma 7 difference is 2 which can be expressed in powers of 2 but the answer is negative so we cannot compare these two groups also now considering this pair 8 9 10 11 we can compare these two groups so the here we will compare these two groups to form a quad 8 9 10 11 the one this one is coming from this one which is already existing that is the first difference 2 is the new difference that is 10 minus 8 11 minus 9 is 2 that is new difference so we have to maintain both the differences like this next 8 comma 10 and 9 comma 11 will have 2 comma 1 the if you observe these two quads are same so we are eliminating the duplicate one and unticked ones are, are called as prime implicants and the second step selection of prime implicants we have to cross all the terms which are given in the determined prime implicants from the step one so one comma nine means one and nine we will give here four and six six seven like this we will cross it and then we will we have to observe each column which is having a single cross mark and give a tick down at the end like this okay now this tick mark is obtained because of this prime implicant so select that prime implicant as an essential prime implicant repeat the process so here in this case 4 comma 6 and in this case we can include 8 9 10 11 now if you observe when we say that 1 comma 9 4 comma 6 and this prime implicant are uh, selected as essential prime implicants one, nine, 1 and 9 both are included in our answer but if you see only 1 is checked but 9 is not checked so let us check 9 also similarly 6 also is checked and at the same time 11 also is checked now if you observe at the end 7 and 15 are not checked and to include these two terms also into our answer we have to select the from the remaining prime implicants one of them as or more like whatever the required number as essential prime prime implicants so here in this case i am i am taking 7 and 15 to include 7 and 15 into my answer so out of 6 4 are the essential prime prime implicants so if you see here essential prime implicants will list out and will write uh, sum of min terms expression only first but we call it as f complement because these are pi terms but not uh, sigma terms that is these are um, the terms given are max terms but not min terms so if we give complement of this we will get f in pos f complement is in sop f is in pos okay this is the way how to get pos form using tabulation method thank you